<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to a game called The Unique Adventure. It's like a standing parable, but free. And so yeah. So I'm gonna just uh see if there's anything I gotta do with settings. Full screen. Mm -hmm. Graphics. Ultra. Resolution. Yes. In three, two, one. <coughs> <coughs> Once upon a time, actually three months ago. Uh, uh, I'll just mute my mic. It was no ordinary business, though. Just in the past year, it had given them access to a number of perks low and middle class people could only dream about. A 12 room apartment in London with a wonderful view to the polluted streets, their own brand of cars, and a personal driver named Jeremy. Life was great, with the exception of one little issue. A broken Dorex Condor 19 years ago. Even though what happened you'd call an accident, the Walker family had great hopes for their son. Now, to make this adventure more personal, we are giving you the unique opportunity to name our main character. So many games mm. out there lack in giving the player choices. But not this game. Oh no. Mm. This is the unique adventure after all. Okay, hold on. I'll come over for names and we'll get back to this. All day thinking of a great name. I Whoa! A truly amazing name. Bob it is. Whoa. Right, where did we leave yeah, off? Ah, yes. The Walker family had great hopes for <laughs> Bob. So Bob had to finish his studies in London. After all, his parents decided he'd make a great doctor son. Shut up, bro! Can I just play the game? Which is just a small part of the huge list of adjectives his parents used to describe him. This is where our adventure begins. His drunken enlightened mind came up with a great idea. Why not visit his ex girlfriend? I'm pressing every key that could mean fucking out. Why not do it? Alright, I keep quiet. Sort of. And if it's like you want internet. <clears throat> the unique loading. In yeah, this very second, all the sorrow in the world was of no comparison of what Bob felt. Still slightly intoxicated, Bob took a quick look around, only to realize that he was in an unfamiliar room. I've been kidnapped, he thought. His thoughts, however, were interrupted by his need to drink water. At this point, Bob decided to get up by pressing the E key. He very suffer well. Oh, I have to continuously press it. Oh, Bob wondered whether he was still drunk uh, or if the room had started can't spinning. Move, by the way. Either way, he decided to move forward by pressing W. No, 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 no. That doesn't seem right. No one could walk that easily with a hangover. Let's see. Due to the nature of all the alcohol he had just consumed, our hero had a very hard time coordinating his limbs. Perhaps pressing T will yield a Nigga, T? T. Look at him go. I'm sure his parents would be so proud in this very moment. Letting you move only forward might be awkward, mm. so I'm throwing a whole set of controls. Hold on, I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, I want to show you how important Bob's DS needs are. So, wait a second. No, uh, we need an adventurous song for this. Ah, that's more like it. Okay, I came I up with an control. idea to ensure you'll take this seriously. If Bob doesn't drink water in the next two minutes, he will die. 
I know, I know. You're probably getting a rush of adrenaline at this moment. But trust me, you have plenty What are we? What do you guys keep some cuff? This happens to be the perfect opportunity for you to take part in my survey. Do you prefer cats or dogs? How boring. Nigga, you chose if you woke that up in a stranger's home. What would you do? What would you do? At least you believe it. Last one, I promise. Tell me what your favorite color is, and I'll let you know what it's it about you. Your color means. Oh, it means you are bold and sexually charged. Might want to keep that out of my game. Thank you so much for participating in this important scientific research. Oh, and you should get on with your walk. So refreshing. Bob could feel a huge sensation of life going down his throat with each sip of water he drank. Now he could finally have a peaceful look around. Every piece of information about his whereabouts would be a blessing. Once Bob feels satisfied with the gathered info, he could leave the apartment. Oh, and you can move with WASD again. Don't need to thank No, me. I hate you. It's an entire stick of bottle. Okay, let's see what we have. stuff is mine um ah yes unique shoes no, what the fuck are your outlets and what are what type of outlets are in in this universe my boy A wise man will make more opportunities than he finds in a monocle thing. Am I wearing a short? Is it? Is it short? Ah, very unique clock. Cross three paintings or portraits of shit, so I don't really care. That Rubik's Cube is not possible. This cube is literally kind of not possible. You see, cause yellow in that, and also fucking, you know, this shit. Okay. The actual or oh, don't make sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight whites. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's hard to move. Seven, eight. Okay, I give up. Mom, I'm not a cube. I'm just gonna say it's impossible. Anyway, okay. The unique shampoo. Hmm. Bro, you got a Nay Station 3? Hmm. Is, is that the box that the, uh, thing came in? Alright, well, I'm gonna just, uh, Shoes. Hold on. Bob forgot his shoes in the apartment. Yes, they won't put He should get comfy. Uh did you realize why is that fucking washing machine in the kitchen? Hmm. Whoa, that is fucking Isn't that just New York? Weren't we inside a fucking little neighborhood? So why were we walking next to our ex's place? 
Don't answer. All right. It isn't your phone. Okay. Just turn around and walk away. I, I, I would like to. Was that door even there? Bob thought. Uh, no, I'm thinking, and why was there a fucking random room with just a. Uh, I don't know. Can, can I zoom in? No. Do the F4 keys. Do the F keys do anything? F1. Okay, that was scary. Uh, yeah, you would want to throw that out. Yes, I'm tall. 213. Okay, it's blocked. Guess I can't leave. On floor 13, my many big waddle. The walking bed. That would actually be scary. Okay, was that just something that loaded in? Another choice. How quirky. Eh, let's go horror. Mm. Yeah, let's go comedy. Yeah, comedy is much better for you two. Of people, oh my God, this is horrible, right? Here. Neurophysiology indicates that laughter is linked with the activation of the ventromedial prefrontal cortex that produces endorphins. With that being said, I hope you're ready to have some fun. So you just accurate that endorphin? I'll go easy on you. What's red and bad for your teeth? I meant red M and M's. A brick. Mm. <laughs> Didn't expect that one to go so well. Whoever invented knock knock jokes should get a Nobel Prize. <laughs> okay, that one. Okay, good. okay. Next one. What do you call cheese that is not yours? Stolen. This one is funny because the original joke says nacho cheese, and you expect it to go that way. Uh. But yes. my jokes are always a step ahead. You could write that one down, but if you only have a broken pen, I guess that's kind of pointless. <laughs> oh, did you hear about the two guys that stole a calendar? They each got six months. My next joke had something to do with amnesia, but I don't remember how it goes. Guess I'll skip it then. Do I leave? This one is good. Listen, listen. Is your refrigerator running? Mm. Yes? Good. Yeah. I will see you at the refrigerator race tomorrow. You don't see it oh, running. And for... did you hear about that guy who got hit in the head with a can of soda? Okay. He's lucky it was a soft drink. <laughs> I was passing a shop the other day, and it had a sign that read, Broken puppets for sale. No strings attached. Hmm. If you ever get cold, just stand in the corner of the room for a bit. It's usually 90 degrees there. Uh, mine was actually like a... Maybe, like, I want to get a job like cleaning mirrors. Degrees, so it has just like always been something I could see myself doing. I also used to be addicted to soap. But I'm clean now. Alright, last one. There were three tomatoes. A mum, a dad and a son. Okay. The son lagged behind and fell splat on the floor. His dad yelled at him. <laughs> I'm Catch up, son. <laughs> I guess I'll just go to sleep now. It comes natural to me. I could do it 
with my eyes closed. Stop. I want to go. You've been lovely tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to fucking do this anymore. Tonight show, on tonight show, Daddy, whatever, whenever he walks in, Bob the Extraordinary. Extra, 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 A panda. Gunshots. Hmm. Wait. Go back and stare at that canvas. Okay. Upon looking at this impressive piece of art, Bob felt as if he was a step away from reaching Nirvana. His third eye, now being opened, grants him perception beyond ordinary sight. Uh... What? There was a big decision in front of Bob now. In the first scenario, Bob finds a very important object somewhere in this house. Speaks. This mysterious speaks? item is extremely vital for our hero to find his way out of this building. In the second scenario, the region responsible for all the decision-making in Bob's brain malfunctions, making him somehow similar to a monkey. Or in other words, he leaves without finding the Determined to see the outside world once again, Bob has proven us that he's capable of carrying out commands flawlessly. Perhaps Bob was actually destined to join the army. Following commands. Is that a spy book? Can I zoom in? Mm. W, do anything? No. Okay then, I guess I just gotta... Can I go back? Okay, there was something being written. This is obviously new. It is an amazing 3D first-person narrative-driven adventure trial and error escape game. In this amazing 3D first-person narrative-driven adventure trial and error escape game, you have to find a way out of this room. Mm -hmm. You can start by looking in the drawer for a key. Perhaps I've put it somewhere else. Um, I meant perhaps someone had put it somewhere else. Oh. All right, this is very important. Now stop whatever you're doing and listen. Above the drawer, there are two Shift. cupboards. The key unlocks both of them, but it will break after opening one. Mm. You know, game logic. Do not question it and glue your ears to my voice. You, Bob, you need to, no, you have to open the left cupboard. It is your only chance of getting out. I should have checked this room before you walked in. This is a catastrophe. First the key, and now this. Someone must have pranked my story. Um, well, I myself am out of ideas here. Everything has clearly changed. Mm -hmm. But it is an escape room after all. There must be a way to escape it. Try looking around and see if you can find something.
just leave? No. Alright then, uh, morning demo does not save. Okay, I'll get back to this place and put the key in the other hole. See you guys later. It is the unique adventure of Does it the change? Hey, it's me, your skin. I drink Whoa! A truly amazing name. Bob it is. All right, then, because it is. Right, where did we leave it? Alrighty then, boys, I am back. It took a long ass time. Welcome to the room. It is an amazing. 3D first person narrative driven adventure trial and error escape game. In this amazing 3D first person narrative driven adventure trial and error escape game, you have to find a way out of this room. You can start by looking in the drawer for a key. Perhaps I've put it somewhere else. Um, I meant perhaps someone had put it somewhere else. Alright. This is very important. Now stop whatever you're doing and listen. Above the drawer, there are two cupboards. The key unlocks both of them, but it will break after opening one. You know, game logic. Do not question it and glue your ears to my voice. You, Bob, you need to... No, you have to open the left cupboard. It is your only chance of getting out. All right, I'm done with you. Never in my the life have off, I Bob. stumbled upon a person as stubborn as you. I'd much rather be having a wonderful cup of tea at the moment, but no. I have to help this hopeless soul named Bob find his way out of this surreal building. <laughs> no more, I'm out. So I'll ruin yours. Uh. Bob was drunk again. Ah. Feels better. Let's continue. Okay, guess I don't have to open that. In front of Bob was the biggest challenge he has faced so far. You should grab something to write on for the next part. I'll wait. Just press E when you're ready. Oh, and just to make sure this goes according to plan, would you kindly stay still? Uh, I have my notepad on my phone. Hearing the music for the first time. In this scene... Okay. Hey Siri. Set a reminder for Good. ahead lies a Sorry, very complex system of corridors. Could you please repeat what In you order said? For Bob to safely traverse through, he has to go left, left then twice to the right. Left. Once again to the left, that. then straight Could forward, you try again? and finally left, to the right. right if Bob right, for some crazy reason forgets the instructions, all he has to do is press V. Bob seemed to have inherited his great grandmother's memory. Left, right, right, left, straight, right. What? You seem to have issues and should definitely see a doctor. I am not repeating the instructions again. Fuck. Piece of shit. Oh yeah, not the VST. Left. Right. Right. It's 
does this count as an option? Because right. Bro, how, how, bro, how? And so Bob managed to get past this horrifying and deadly maze. Wait, safe. deadly? Oh, no, no, what did you just say? Deadly? And they walk straight, please. As the elevator descended towards freedom, Stan, um, uh, Bob, Stan. yeah, that's it. Bob, Bob was, um, Bob felt a strong sensation of relief. Did my guy just say Stan? But a huge black screen appears and abruptly ends the demo here. Motherfucker! Roll the credits. I guess that's it for this video. Uh, see you guys on uh, the next video. Alright, bye. I'm not looking for uh, this demo here. Second video of this today. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, uh, see you guys. <laughs>